Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another L pack. That's right, we are actually heading into the Lord of the Rings territory with Mordor slash the Black Gate. That's right, the humans are at our gates. Kill them all or we are doomed. That's right, the doometing is happening and we are there to stop it or create it one of those i don't quite know but those filthy humans are on our borders follow my will and crush them love and hugs sauron thank you so much sauron you know i mean greatly appreciate it uh on the map we do have a few so resources we have our emitters right off the rip uh that we have three of them which is kind of nice always nice to have a, a few emitters but that being said we have one blob's nest although at the same time since none of these are nullified i think we would just start with this one when we start with our emitter pushing uh which will be in the second run of course that being said they have resources on their side but it's not infinite and it's not like extreme amounts of resources which i love i love that fact i like not extreme amounts of resources it's kind of fun it's kind of cool and yeah it's nice that they're kind of spread out uh so that being said we have some spore launchers you know uh what well we'll do like th three in each let's say uh, let's start off with two in each. Uh, we're going to do this twice. We're going to do this once with a spore start. Once uh, doing it more standardly with sort of uh, emitters and things like that. But our spore start should be pretty good, hopefully. Hopefully, I, I say. Uh, that being said, we do also want to spam pop all eggs. So that is another little goal of ours. See, if we pop spam it, instead of them flying out, they uh, they sort of sit on our things and, and come down here which is actually just a nicety you know i'd rather have creep up here for now i like those eggs right there get yeah, it's too late now too late now uh we can we can pop them all again though but here come the launches that's right this is the all important part you know uh we shall see see how it goes uh ooh. get the see how it goes it looks like they are able to shoot them down but they do have plenty of red on it looks like which is good and bad okay we do have one landing a little far away a little far away let's let's see if we can uh work with this though i don't know we have just a few eggs this is actually not ideal but let's just see right bazinga uh actually up top would probably be a little bit better there we go Let's see, can that pop that? Does not look like it, so we're going to need that. There we go. So this is going to do some Demagios right off the rip, which is always a good thing to have. Hopefully that gets us a couple more eggs, because we will be needing them. And that is what we're going to ultimately be using, right? An egg, like right there, would be perfect for us. Glorious indeed. Glorious indeed. Uh, depending on where that first uh, spore landed definitely changes how we are doing this right i mean they are moving away which is fantastic we really want one more egg which is perfect because we're going to toss it right there it's already on their base uh this next set of spores is coming down which is great but we are already assaulting their base slightly we still need more but we did destroy most of their energy generation which is awesome for us so yeah i do want to get this uh Oh, we did get the urn port as well. Perfect. Uh, and we just got the uh, the all-important uh, factory, right? So let's increase those counts so more things will land. But I think they're kind of in a bit of a trouble zone, right? Uh, we can even start rocking things around us. Uh, did I rock everything? There we go. Just a couple of rocks. Uh, let's make sure our egg goes down and does not get popped by uh, by that, because we want to destroy their base, of course. So yeah, keep the eggs a coming, keep the spores a coming, because now that we've uh, destroyed their uh... ooh their factory, are they going to be able to keep us down? I don't. Oh, there we go, done and dusted. Uh, if we had a spore land a little bit closer, we definitely could have gotten there faster. But you know, that's that's not bad for our first go. That was that was our little cheesy one. See, look at that two minutes. See, I think we could have uh, shaved off some time if the first spore was not so far away, and it is possible uh, to do that. Uh, but maybe, you know, it's up to luck. I'm not going to do this a hundred times just to get the the most optimal one. But that's a that's a pretty good one. So let's uh, let's give it a go and try this with, you know, a little bit more restraint. Not just go for spores. 
Uh, spores initially will be bad if we're not going just for spores, because clearly you saw how effective they are. But these emitters, uh, we do want to get rolling on those, right? So let's let's start with these emitters. We are going to want some blobs as well, and see how an emitter start goes. I don't know. This is going to be quite interesting, if you ask me. So right off the rip, we are already at 150, which is pretty solid. But you can see, look at them. They're they're already setting up they have all of their juice flowing so that's pretty good for them let's keep the eggs popping keep the eggs popping because i really want to one of my goals right now is actually now that that egg is popped we're going to start using some mesh because we're doing it we're doing a creepy style right and if we can right away plan on meshing right over the top wall that's gonna that's gonna actually save us quite a lot because we can hold the top kind of uh, i think that's going to be a very beneficial thing right if we can immediately start uh, flow. Oh, I should have done to the side too, just in case. I didn't. Uh, that was, ooh, and I let the egg go. <laughs> shame, shame, shame on me. Shame on me. Uh, we can't, can we not mesh the top? Oh no, we can't actually mesh the top. Uh, or is that just bad luck? I don't know. But we need to be using our boost, right? Keep the creeper coming. Uh, yeah, we're going to also, well, like I said, we're going to want some blobs as well. But the blobs are uh, less importante at the moment. Strictly because, you know, the blobs, they're good for what they're good at. But they're not uh, they are not all perfect, right? So, keep the creeper coming. Oh, no, no. Just keep popping eggs as well. Definitely doing that. All right. Whoa. Sorry. So, there's a lot of creep at the top. Can we mesh the top? No, we actually can't. Oh, well, no. I guess we can. I can't tell. Is that meshed? Is that not? Like, it doesn't look like... Oh, no, that's creeper absorber terrain. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, we definitely don't want to mesh the top. Never mind. Get out of here, mesh. <laughs> uh, we're going instead straight up the front, right? Uh, that's... I gotta be a little bit better. And I guess with that, we can start meshing the back, though. So let's just do a little bit of mesh in here. So this is just going to go literal. Oh my gosh, it's so thin. Because the mesh is so thin, uh, we are under a bit of a problem. Because we can't necessarily mesh up to where we want to go. right? We, we basically want to just make the clean line all the way up. Uh, it's not perfect, but we do have quite a bit of it. I, I mean, I'm afraid it's going to send creep back. But, you know, we're going to deal with what we got. Uh, unfortunately, they do have a little bit of an montage right now. So let's take a look. They are starting their assault already. We have seven. Seven's not bad in terms of eggs to our name. Uh, no, no spores are going to land just yet. We can start our assault, though, uh, should we want to. I think we want to wait a little bit until we get just a couple more eggs, right? Uh, because we want to sort of get past them and use that to our advantage. Uh, it doesn't look like anything with an urn is not moving, which is actually quite interesting. I was not actually expecting that fact. Uh, pop all those eggs. Keep them coming. That's okay. We want them to deliver the creep, of course. And we want this to connect up. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. perfect. It might not be per. It might not be, like, everything in the world. But I think that should be enough of a connection for that to actually flow through. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what we want to see. Uh, and yeah, we need to... We need to get everything going for us now. So, we do want to break through. Uh, and they are starting. So our creep is building up, which is amazing. And I think we might be able to just get a nice bit behind them. Because look at all these all these mortars coming up. We do not want that. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a disruption, if you will. So let's just keep popping up. Oh, yeah. Don't let them get those mortars. Take a big chunk out of them. Looks pretty nice to me, right? Uh, they're all sort of flying in to the, uh, to the death zone, as it were. And that's also going to allow us to start meshing straight into them. Oh my, the mesh is happening. But with that, you know, they are able to contain it pretty well. Uh, we did get some good destruction, but not perfect. Uh, not perfect at all. Uh, one of the big goals that I want to have is... Uh, oh, I wanted to rock the... Uh, Rock the shield, but that's okay. I will say, once they get started, this AI is going to be a significant improvement, right? I mean, it is it is working to their advantage. That's that's good. That's not a bad thing, right? And that's what we want to see. We want to see them fight for their lives. 
Uh, okay, get the creep. The creep is looking good. Uh, we do have all this. We do have all this. Let's do our little meshy pylon-y things. Like, just go out to the side. Just go out to the side. Just this way we can... Uh, can we get it connected? Eh, that's a connection. That works. Uh, this way we can just sort of absorb things from the side. Same thing with back here. We'll also do that. Just to... If there's any creep that pools up in these areas, we're going to want it, right? Uh, and then, of course, we're going to want one on this side. One on this side. And then we should be good to go. Because, again, the whole goal is it for it to go up to the front. Um, so I guess with that we'll also do it right at the top. Because it will pool up in those corners as well. I don't necessarily want it to connect to that, so let's actually uh, get rid of that. But that's okay, that's okay. Uh, spores are doing okay. Uh, again, we're, you know, that initial assault, not the best. Not the best, and that's okay. Uh, because, oh, look at them, I mean, they are, they're tough, they're, they're, they're pretty tough, you know, they're rock'em sock'em. Uh, and hopefully we can use that again to our advantage, because they are pushing in. But that doesn't mean anything just yet, because, again, our ultimate goal will be to come from behind uh, and cut them off. So, so far, actually, they're pushing real good. Although they have no power up top, so these, uh, these shields are going to go down, which is actually huge for us. And the fact that they have to come through the front, or the main area, and they have no power up there is actually a huge detriment for them. Because look at that, right there, boom. And that's going to allow us to do some, hopefully, fun things to them, right? Because uh, we want to come from behind. All power is coming from back here. So if we were to cut this off, then all their power is indeed cut off as well. So, now that being said, that is not the easiest thing to do. But Creep itself can get over these sides. So that's kind of our goal right now. Uh, it looks like they are coming up. So I think it, I think it's time, right? Uh, we do have 10... And look at this, they, they leave their back area relatively open, right? So if that pops, uh, we can start to take out all of these things. So just a couple of those, and then we want to work around to uh, do a big cutoff, right? Uh, it looks like that's all of our eggs right there. Ooh, does that not actually activate from there? Hmm. Uh, I am actually surprised by that. Uh, so let's destroy you and see egg. I guess we need it just to be like here. That'll work, and then that'll lead to here. Bazinga. There we go. Let's just pop these eggs. There we go. Get a nice surround on them, and let's see what happens, because that should cut off power to this side relatively easily. Theoretically, the goal will be to cut off power to this side, which we need you to activate as well. Uh, and that should cut off power to the center. And, yeah, with those two cut off, I mean, that's, uh, that's a lot that's going to go straight to us. Hopefully, hopefully, we're going to take enough. Now, we could have gone straight for their base and things with the eggs, but again, I want to see how well the creep can push on its own. Uh, so, they are falling back. They are going to get their power back relatively soon. Uh, I'm actually surprised the creep was not deep. There we go. It was not deep enough for that egg. Apparently, there we go. And we even got that shield, which is amazing. The shield is actually huge for us. So again, uh, we were able to hold things relatively well. Let's keep popping all eggs, because there are eggs being made. But look at this. They're able to just sort of keep it back. We did maintain to, or keep this area, which is amazing. Uh, where is that nullifier? Oh, the nullifier is up there. <laughs> you can barely see the beam. It's amazing. Um, so this goes to show... You know, it's not the easiest. Nope. If we had a Crimson here, I think we'd be pushing just fine. Uh, now, unfortunately, we don't have a Crimson here. So we're still we're still at the mercy of the creep production. And, yeah, we're, we're very able to take it back. Uh, they did collect... They are collecting their items, whatever those may do. So, again, our, our backdoor attack, not doing the best. So the question is, how do we want to proceed? Do we want to just destroy it with eggs? Do we want to do another backdoor? Uh, I don't really have the most optimal thing to do right now, because... Ooh, that M-Rift is going to be annoying. I do want that M-Rift down, so I think we're going to grab that. So again, we are doing a little bit of an assault over here, but you can see that M-Rift is almost done, and that's, uh, that's bad. Because if that's finished, then they just have really good access to power, which, of course, <laughs> very good for them. Very bad for us. So maybe we'll go a little bit further into their side. Uh, just to see you know, what 
what they'll do to respond because the AI does tend to respond to threats, um, but with threats being responded to, what are they going to do entirely is the question, right? Are they going to send their main forces over? Are they going to just let it sort of go? Because, uh, like, right now, um, again, we're, we have the capability to do some damage back here. Again, that's all shut off yet again. And... How did we not... Oh, they're able to maintain this area from the top. So that is actually really good for them, right? So we are going to want to come for this M Rift over here. So let's see how, hopefully, cutting them off yet again will do. Uh, there we go. So again, theoretically... Oh, they reestablished the connection on this side. Oh my god, they're so... They're so quick. Uh, too quick for me, that is for sure unfortunately. Uh, so, let's see. Does that egg pop? It does not. So, we're going to need one more a little bit closer to pop those two. Hopefully, cut off this left side now. And we're going to need to maintain this. Now, that's the problem with maintaining this, is we only have one egg to do it. And they're already rebuilding. And it wasn't enough, unfortunately. And we do have eight egg. Ah. They were able to get too much back, unfortunately. I should be constantly filling this up, though. And luckily, our back is completely full, so any creep back here, again, should be zooming to the front. Now, unfortunately, the front isn't, uh, isn't doing so hot, right? I mean, they are able to just drain us, as it were. And they're, they're quite effective. So even just this, this should do a decent bit of damage, but it doesn't. They have so many units uh, that they do not have to. Ooh, I don't even know what I hit. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, this is just using creep, not the best. Now, how many sni Let's take a look at their sniper situation, right? They do have a sniper there, a sniper there. So, let's see, two. So, I was going to say, if we get swap two blobs at this point, three, four, uh, I'm assuming there's going to be a couple in there. So, they at least have four or five. Now, this does... The problem is, I think this is every five minutes, so... Not, or four minutes. It's not that fast, right? So the question then is, uh, do we want to put points into that for not fast? So here come the blobs. See, they're all destroyed already, and it is... Oh, no. Wait, is it super fast now? Oh, my. Because if it is super fast, it's 40 seconds. Okay, it is 40 seconds. That is actually quite decent, actually. And what we're going to do we're going to shift our meshing. We are going to mesh the entire top because we don't want... The mesh is a lot harder to destroy, especially on awkward uh, awkward placements. So if we do something like this, theoretically, it will be much harder for them to uh, eliminate the uh, the mesh up here. Plus, as you can see, they, they have worked their way over. So our mesh is not doing so hot on that side. So we do want to sort of, you know, do some good stuff there. But if this is every 40 seconds, we are going to start pumping that up and again you know they do have some semblance of a defense here see look at this they are just pushing back this mesh which is great for them but again the further in they get the fur the harder it is for their back to survive so we do have quite quite a lot of uh things to our advantage now and it might not seem like it. Again, we have, this emitter itself is doing quite strong. And now, once we get the threshold of blobs... I should, I should have played more attention to the blobs, to be honest with you. Uh, it does seem like we... You know, if we were up to, like, 20 or so blobs, that would probably be enough to start breaking some units. Uh, and again, every time we break a few units, it's just going to go better. But we're getting there. We're getting there. As you can see, the mesh is actually getting to a point where... Yeah, they can hold it here. But see how much harder it is to actually take this mountain? So that's actually going quite well in our favor as well. Uh, and now we're up to, uh, what, 13 blobs a tick? Which is grand. We are going to save Mordor. Mordor? Did I say Mark Mordor? Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I'm uh, forgetting how to talk at times. Ooh, see they are? See, they're able to handle quite a lot of blobs. Um, and that's why every time... Every blob we get, or every upgrade, is just going to improve that. And we are saving our eggs, because we're at 17. Again, the goal for these blobs will be to be, do a nice cutoff. A nice cutoff behind them. So, 
once we get a decent blob wave, because look at this, again, they are pushing back, which is grand for them. Uh, I'm going to add a mesh path behind, just so there's another connection, just in case this should get uh, cut off. Okay, see, look at that. We, we're getting maybe like three or four blob kills now on a tick, which is grand, and we should. Alright, so where do they have M riffs? Or do they? Okay, so it looks like power is coming. Uh, do, do, do. Where is the power coming from? It's coming that way, which is... I mean, oh, the m -rift is, I was looking for it. I was like, it looks like it's actually on this missile. And it is. The m -rift is actually on the missile launcher. And there's an m -rift in that corner. Okay, perfect. So we have their two m -rifts, which is grand. Uh, and we're going to grab some more blobs. We should have plenty of eggs to do some nice back door action, if you ask me. So let's just see. How is this gonna. Oh, they literally just put a shield exactly where I didn't want it. Oh my god, they have two MRFs over. They have so many MRFs now. Holy moly, it is amazing how many MRFs we have. But look at this, now that we're getting. I mean, we didn't do anything other than add some more blobs, and we've actually pushed our way in. I mean, look at that, we're actually in on them. Uh, no problems, no qualms, we didn't really do anything to the creek, we've just added blobs, and we're making it down the main path already. Um, it blows my mind that this is actually sending out things when there's MRFs over there that are, like, way close. I mean, I guess it's because they're further away to the pylon network, perhaps? But look at this, we're just, we're just in. We didn't even need our eggs. I love it. That's incredible. Uh, now that being said... If we can get that M-Rift, maybe cutting off this area will do, right? Because if we, if we do that, that cuts off to this side. Ooh, and we might be able to... Now that they've moved that, there is an M-Rift there, but I'd like to, to work on these M-Rifts, just so they're gone. You know, I'd, I'd rather them be gone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, ooh, they, they reaped up the shield there, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. As you can see, the creep is working on the main path. So let's just let's just help it along. Give it give it some give it some juice. Because uh, now they, I think, I mean, again, these blobs are just doing the most. Let's pop all of our eggs too. Oh, ah, all eggs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, they are holding on over here. Uh, but the main area does need more to flow. Let the mesh flow on in. Uh, because clearly we're going to want to start to work on their uh, <coughs> their side. But we did take one of our scores. Yay, scores. Holy moly. <laughs> they just had a massive bit of destruction thanks to those, uh, those blobs over there. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, hit that one. Hit them blobs. So... Look, they're just able to push back so very strong. All right, are these... All right, they're not free, but they're not too bad when you think about it. No Amrift at the top. Oh, there is an Amrift at the top now. All right, that's probably the worst idea. I just want the creep to, to flow in. That's all, just, just flow in creep. You can do it, the blobs are doing some good work, although coming down is much harder than going up. So when you go up, you're invisible as long as you're on the wall. Now, when you go down, you, uh, you're, you're just climbing down and they can just shoot, shoot the crap out of you. So that is not necessarily a good thing for us. But again, our creep, our creep is too high. Our blobs are destroying quite a lot. We could egg straight to their back line. Don't get me wrong. I know. I know this entire time. We could have done that. But that is not the goal. The goal is to our units to overcome. Uh, pop, let's keep popping all eggs. Too, egg popping is fun. Uh, and yeah, I am quite a fan. Oh my gosh, we are, we are doing some destruction. Uh, and you know what? Let's while while they're doing that, let's just hinder their recreation process, right? Because when, you know, if we can take advantage of that, you know, take advantage of them being low on the units. Mm -hmm. Quite nice, quite nice. 
stop them from doing stuff at the top. Get this M-Rift. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The goal now is just to keep them from building at the moment. Because again, they have plenty of power, but of course, building takes time. So if we can keep their units at a, not a minimum, but at a substantially lower value, uh, then, in the theory, our creep should have some pretty... Come on, Max, get ahead. There we go. Just clean up a huge amount of them again. They have so much power and so much generation, it's ridiculous. Ugh. So we need more and more. We're up to 50, 50 some of the blobs. And that's looking pretty good. Again, the blobs do come every 40 seconds. We do have some pretty solid gains. Now, again, the problem is the blobs come every 40 seconds. Uh, but it is not enough. Look at that. They can just rebuild their forces so much. I'm actually worried. Like, I'm like, well, maybe we should increase the amount of creep that we have. Now, the problem with increasing the amount of creep that we have is it is hitting the edge. I don't know if it's actually flowing over and dissipating. We do have to get through and control the center. Uh, so that is a problem as well. Um, so, but the blobs, they're just not killing quite enough. Uh, another problem with the blobs is, as, like, as you can see, that's, that's one of the things that's happening. Uh, but when they're in the air, obviously nothing is getting destroyed because they're in the air. Right? If units are in the air. We're not destroying them. So, a slight problem there as well. Although, I don't really see them as able to uh, destroy us, so to speak. Uh, but let's, let's just fill up this entire area with Flamesh, right? Like, that's some good blob destruction right there. Fill up the whole thing. Let's just really pour that mesh on and out. Because we want it just to super flow out at this point, right? those MRFs down, keep everything coming in, cut this off yet again, there you go, just a good thing for us, uh, we'll keep popping our uh, all eggs, because eggs that are popped should go through the mesh, uh, I do want the mesh to flow out, which is why I'm not just necessarily making a front line, but maybe we should just make a front line, just so it is harder for them to uh, fight it back, because um, there is so much creep there, so we'll grab another set of blobs, does not quite, and it looks like they have plenty of things on their side right now. And they're fighting back. Uh, we do have 13 rocks, so maybe we'll try and take out just their front line a bit. Grab that shield. And just see if we can do some, do some pushing like that. You know, just a little bit of front line disruption so we can have that control, hopefully. But again, there is quite a lot coming through. They, they are pounding that mesh, and it is just utter destruction. So, so much juice coming their way. I mean, this many blobs. Look at the number that are being destroyed. Look at the number of units that are not being destroyed. Because the further back we get, we're getting closer to these super snipers. And the, the super sniper alone is incredible for them, right? So... Ooh, we do have creep flowing over the top, which is not the best for us. Not the best. Because, uh, again, if, it, if creep is flowing over the top, that does mean that uh, it's overflowing overall. Uh, and creep overflowing is bad because it's just being absorbed. Uh, Ooh, these units are insane. It does blow my mind how good this AI 
just can push when given the resources. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is this is a lot of creep coming their way. A lot of blobs. We are destroying a lot of units, but every time we destroy a unit, of course, it is instantly, instantly replaced, basically, which is so huge. I mean, I wish I could act that fast uh, without taking, you know, hours of time. <laughs> so, AI for the win. Uh, how do we want to work our way behind? That's the next question. All right, we're gonna, I guess keep saving up smegs. Do another back door assault. Um, I was hoping this many blobs would finish the job. Because we're almost up to 100. Holy moly. I mean, we're 80. I mean, I guess it's not almost 100. That's, it's close ish, but not that close, I should say. So after the next wave or two, maybe we'll try and do another push. Take out the side. Yet again. Uh, if at all possible. Let's see. Front line. The front line does not falter. We're at 14. How many do we want? Getting close to 20 would be ideal. But with 14, we could probably do another push. Uh, is there an M rift on this side? Is that an M rift? No, let's just go through that. Uh, looks like we're kind of okay on the side. And this side looks a little weak. So. Just yeah, something like that. Again, cut off the side, ideally, and uh, allow our creep to push. And then over here, there is clearly an M rift somewhere over here, right? Uh, so is the M rift right there? So we're gonna do a lot of this. The shields are in the air right now, so ideally, we will just do something like that. Even if the shields land, it's going to basically pop the shields. I'm going to use all the heads. I need like one more. Oh, no. There we go. That's what we want to see. Again, just shutting them off. Also destroying a lot of units. Uh, also, let's move some rocks on the side. Keep them pushing back. Let the blobs flow. Trying to get to that hundred. I'm trying to get to a hundred blobs at this point. It is quite devastating. So with this, uh, we are getting close to some red on, which is good. We are getting close to all of their hard units. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's keep the mesh on this side so it does just hold the line, so to speak. Make them have to fight harder to push everything back. That's pretty much the only reason I want this mesh on these sides. Uh, because, yeah, the creep is quite substantial. Uh, but look at that. A hundred blobs. And we just take out a few units, you know? You would think that would be almost a winning amount. Uh, and they still have the earned uh, air units in the back. That's one of the big problems, right? With these two, we still can't use spores, right? We would need to get to probably, you know, 40 or... Uh, probably like 30 or 40 spores. Uh, but we don't want to do a back door or something. That's not what we are trying the front door approach just to see how it goes. And maybe it's going to work. Uh, event eventually it will work. That is tr completely true. Eventually it will work. I think I just upgraded that. You know what? That's fine. A little bit more creep for the mesh does work. Uh, the longer we hold them here, the more we can plan on doing the next wave. Because, uh, again, they're not... No, they're nowhere near their generation. We are nowhere near their power. Which kind of sucks. Um, hmm. The shields are going good for them. I just would expect a hundred blobs against this to do a little bit better. Okay, I mean, that, that center mass, though, that's the destruction that we're looking to see. So our blobs are are getting there. It's just they have so many units, and we are officially over 100. Oh, my. Looks... That's a that's a pretty nice number. What is that shield image? I don't understand. It. Is there a shield there? Is there not? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> so good. We still, yeah, next time we get uh, a decent portion of, uh, of blobs, we will, or of uh, eggs, which are at 14. Again, we're almost up to another round. I am afraid of these burned units over there, uh, but we are probably ready to hopefully do another a set of pushing. So, I mean, the blobs are starting to really hold them, or not hold them, but actually get through a large portion. 
So where is next? Is there an M rift over here? Let's let's follow the flow of the data. See, it looks like yep, yeah, M rift right there. So perfect. So if we actually start here, maybe we can actually focus on maybe their red on supplies here. Again, there are bad units in the way, so that is slightly problematic. Uh, but you know, it might it might allow us to get some red on, get their M rift, cut off this side again. That's kind of the goal right here, is just to keep this side cut off. And if we can uh, hold this, that sounds pretty solid to me. Uh, but unfortunately, they build things very quickly and can get reconnected near instantly. Look at that, they, they basically got their reconnection right up and running. Keep an MRF down. So that reestablishes that side. Blobs for the blob guy. Come on. You can do it, blob team. We're, we're actively getting them back. We're almost to the red on the side, which is grand. They are spending some time on the green eye, which is grand as well. I just I just want this creep just to start to flow on in. But again, their unit production is off the chain. Like, how deep can we get these blobs? Come on, blobs, you can do it! I mean, I will say, just going into the launchers and just going straight for the back does sound pretty good. Same thing with just the eggs. But, but I am holding. I'm holding out for blobs to actually start to maintain. Like, that's actually not bad. If we can grab one of those with a bunch of eggs, that might be even better, because uh, starting in the middle would be pretty nice. And we'll start to do some spores, because, uh, I mean, the problem is they are building uh, regular missiles as well. I mean, the super missiles are going to be ridiculous, having crit, more range, do basically everything. Uh, the regular missiles are not, are still going to be effective for quite a few, I mean. Spores just don't. Spores just don't do much when there's a decent bit of missile defense, and you can even see. Honestly, I bet if we were to leave it just to spores, not even do eggs on top of spores. If we had a hundred spores, that might be worth it as well. Uh, I would be kind of curious to see how a hundred spores do uh, on top of this creep generation. Uh, granted, if a spore lands, it's not going to be as effective because it's not like an instant death mechanic like the uh, the blob you know blobs being insta death is pretty nice I mean, that utter destruction and it's just completely nullified near it although this side is kind of weak uh, so maybe we'll do a little side sniping right we do something that goes all the way up and around. We're not we're not gunning for this. The goal is not to destroy that, because that's again. Actually that might hit it. If we if we just cut off the side. Uh, yeah, I, my goal was not to actually destroy their power here. I wanted to sort of do a cut off there. I feel a little bit bad about that. Again, our goal wasn't to destroy with eggs. No, it was too much. I mean, that's how easy it would be to do it with eggs, but I literally just destroyed their entire source of power. So, that's uh, gonna be the game. Because now, I mean, look at their deficit. It's gonna be incredible, and they're not gonna be able to keep up with the ammo, and the blobs, and creating everything. Um, literally, the map is over. And I, you know what? I tried to just destroy this. They had nothing to defend, just a tiny bit of creep coming down here. So you know what? Yeah. I, wa I wasn't gonna do that. I tried to stay on the blue line. So I'm gonna count that as uh, something. I don't know. I feel a little bit bad, but we can just leave it to the blobs now. Not do anything. Alright. You've done it, blobs. I'm so proud of you. I mean, even the creep. The creep is done it. Uh, 
The base is dying, but I'm assuming the Malabs will come for the base. Instantly destroyed. There we go. Victory is ours. It took a little while, but that has been Mordor, the Black... This is the Black Gate. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, did that, like, lag after we won. Uh, and yeah, we have indeed done it. So, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoy. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.